Williams welcomes you to this broadcast of high school volleyball regional semifinal action. We're here at the Thunderdome of North Mont High School where the Tri-Village Patriots take on the Nebraman Cardinals. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Clope Building Products, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Auglaise Audiology, NK Telco, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Cy Sweeterman, Minster Bank, Pullman Interiors, New Knoxville Supply, Hoagie Lumber, Cargill, Victory Machine, Hometown Opportunity, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, Brookside Labs, Forever Fit, Rachel's Cakes, Speedway Lanes, Boimer Construction, Jewelry Barn, Tom and Jerry's, and Western Ohio Mortgage. Thank you to those fine sponsors that allow us to bring you this. Once again, volleyball action tonight. My name is Jeff Henshin. Alongside me tonight is Brandon Coveman. There are the, the teams in, in the mix tonight. Tri-Village 21-4 and Bremen 22-3. Brandon, both teams have played very well. Obviously, to get to this point, regional semifinals, not usually an easy task, and very few teams have uh, able to accomplish it. But Tri-Village, um, kind of a new thing for them this year. Yeah, CCC champions sitting at 21-4. and four. They're led by their setter and league player of the year, Lucy Morris, under fourth year coach Chris Brewer, their lead hitter, um, uh, Maria Petrie, uh, 284 kills this year. Um, beat Jackson Center in five sets to get to this regional and always powerhouse in Jackson Center. So these Patriots are well tested in their last year, the Cross County Conference. There's the Patriots of Tri-Village. We flip the side here, and Debrima Cardinals, not a stranger to the regional semifinals. No, their fifth straight year here in the regional. Um, they've won the regional three years in a row, so they're looking to go four straight years here and winning the regional, and they just come off and gave New Knoxville their first loss of the year, and they're hitting the ground running. Um, the Cardinals are always a good tournament team under Coach Diana Kramer, so should be a good matchup, Jeff. We're excited to bring that action to you again from a very fine venue here at Northmont High School. Good atmosphere, obviously the spectators are at a limited this year, but uh, we'll make the best of it and hope to bring you a, a fine match here. We'll now take a time and honor our nation with a national anthem. Welcome back here to the Thunder Dome as we get ready to meet the starting lineups for each team. <clears throat> and before we do so, remind everyone that as Brandon mentioned, Tri-Village defeated Houston, Fairlawn, and Riverside, and then had a big match against Shelby County Athletic League team, Jackson Center beating them in five. And that win over Jackson Center for Tri-Village will give them now their first ever appearance in school history in this regional semifinal action. So congratulations to Tri-Village on that accomplishment. Brandon also mentioned the league champs, first time since 1990. So 
Coach Chris Brewer doing a fine job turning this program into a winning program, if you will. The basketball team's had success. Now the volleyball team getting some success as well for Tri-Village. New Bremen, they also advance here, obviously, by beating Ridgemont and Ada handily and then took care of New Knoxville in three sets, the very close competitive sets, if you will. New Bremen, the number one seeded team in that district, held serve and earned the right now to play tonight, as we mentioned earlier, in their fifth straight. They've been very good over the past few years. They've been to state three years in a row. They've won it twice in 17 and 19. Runner up in 18. So a fine job by Coach Dinah Kramer, as we said earlier, in her fifth season. She spent six years at St. Henry as a coach there. Was a state runner up in 15 and also a state champion in 11 coaching at St. Henry. So a fine job there. Her overall record, pretty incredible. Currently, is 259 wins and just 37 losses in what is now her 11th season. So Coach Kramer getting it done, not only at her alma mater, St. Henry, but coming here and putting a powerhouse program of volleyball in at New Bremen as well. As we get ready here, one more thing is they have all the players, as you see, circled around the gym. The winner of this match will play on Saturday at 2 o'clock right back here at the Thunderdome against the winner of our next game, which will be between the Fort Lormy Redskins and the Rushi Raiders at 2 o'clock. So now the lineups, the non-starters for Tri-Village. Lucy Morris is a starter. Starter Molly Scantland. Number nine, Maddie Mead. Number 10, Megan Downing. 11 is Maria Petrie. Number 15, starter Morgan Hunt. And their libero, number 23, Kaylee Updike. And they are again are coached by Chris Brewer in his fourth season. And now for the Bremen Cardinals. They'll introduce all the players. Starter, libero, Diana Heitkamp. Starter Josie Reinhardt, number five. Brianna Hall, number seven, Kaylee Friend. Kaylee Friend, number, number seven. Olivia Dammer. Eight is Olivia Dammer. Ellie Tangerman. Tangerman, also a starter. Floyd Bornhorst, number, number ten. Seven, Maya Schmidt, number twelve, Claire Pape. Twelve is Claire Pape. Number thirteen, Ellie Rechterman. And thirteen, Ellie number Rechterman. 14, Ella Pape. Number fifteen, Olivia Heitner. Number sixteen, Amelia. And the Cardinals are coached by Diana Kramer, as we mentioned, assisted by Jan Beike and also Jenny Eilerman. So there are your starters. We're getting ready to go. But before we have our first serve, let's go through our keys of the game tonight, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Uh, thanks, Jeff. And looking here for the Patriots, they want to get adjusted to the speed of New Bremen. They like to play fast, and you know the MAC Conference is a whole different game. Um, certainly Tri-Village is something they're going to have to adjust to. They're going to get stops at the net. They want to slow down to Bremen's hitter and get a good first touch on offense. And then for the Bremen Cardinals, their keys. Look for the Crimson and Gold here. They want to win first contact always. They want to have a great first contact and a strong start. That's something I know they've lacked a few times in a couple of their tournament games. And they want to get their middles involved early and often. Um, talk about the middles like Kaylee Friend in particular. You look at her hitting average hitting 377, which is a fantastic number. Those are, in fact, good numbers. As you mentioned, you see the unique view there from the angle. One of our views we'll have tonight as the seats are all spaced out accordingly, not only for the players, but also, uh, again, limited numbers with the fans. And at least we're playing volleyball, and hopefully these telecasts can help you that don't get to see it in person a chance to at least uh, watch it in this case tape delayed here on NK Telco Sports. We're very proud to be here and bring you these games. We're underway with the first serve belonging to the Patriots and the Bremen will have to free ball it over. Picked up by Tri-Villager, first attack on offense down the line, picked up by Diana Heitkamp. Reinhardt, nice job by the Patriots defensively. 
Good volley here, extended play. Roll shot by Reinhardt will drop. So give Josie Reinhardt her first kill of the set, Brandon, and a pretty good defensive performance here by the Tri-Village Patriots. Yeah, it was, and you're going to have to play great defense if you're going to want to catch up with the Crimson and Gold here, and you're just going to have to get some shots down and stick with them early. High camp serving, 85 aces on the season, 86% accuracy, but the 85 aces, a very good mark serving for the Cardinals. Good play by Nebreman, keep it alive. Dry Village can go back to work on offense. Friend with the solo block. Good positioning there by the junior, Kaylee Friend. Yeah, and she gets that solo block right there in the middle. That was a pretty easy read there for number seven. High camp will serve again. She was one of a couple players earning first team honors. All league for the Midwest Athletic Conference, hitting error against Tri-Village. Along with Diana Heitkamp, it was Josie Reinhardt and Claire Pape, both garnering, or earning, I should say, first team honors. Friend and Rechterman, second team honors, and Ellie Tangerman, honorable mention. And there's Diana Heitkamp's 86 ace of the season. They have Tri-Village all out of sorts, all out of flux here early on. For Tri-Village, Brandon, I know they didn't mention it, or they talked about getting off to a good start, if you will, and um, right now 4-0 deficit with a veteran team makes it very difficult to climb back, so Tri-Village gonna have their work cut out for them, already down four love. Good attack by friend, good pickup by Suchlin. And that's Claire Pape there in the middle with a kill. Uh, she's been doing that a lot where she looks like she's going to set and think it's a full-blown swing. Here it is. Again, she's a setter in the front row, so she can go up and takes care of business. And again, had to twist her body to get it right-handed and a difficult attack, but she's able to connect. 5-0 your score in favor of New Bremen. The tip is picked up by New Bremen to go back to work on offense. An attack by Hunt is also picked up. Reinhardt. Finds a gap in the Tri-Village defense. Reinhardt, her second kill, and a timeout on the court. We'll take one with them and come back with more regional semifinal action here on NK Telco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. A timeout called by Coach Chris Brewer, his team in a hole, 6-0, as New Bremen's come out on fire doing it with a lot of good attacking, uh, at a solo block in there by Friend and a service ace by Diana Heitkamp, and it's a recipe for a 6-0 lead here early. Reinhardt again, a couple kills are ready. Her attack will be saved and give her a kill on that one. It never really was cleanly played, and Tri-Village could not get into offense, so third kill for the senior Reinhardt and her teammate right here, Diana Heitkamp, both attending Tiffin University next season to extend their volleyball careers. Attack by Reinhardt, touched back nicely by the Patriots. Friends tip is good enough. It is out of the reach of Meade and Kelly Friend gets her first kill. And this is New Bremen's best rotation right here, and they've been able to stay in it. Tri-Village, the Patriots haven't found any way to stop them. High cams, that one floats long, first service error of the match. And that was key in New Bremen's win over the, in the district finals. Not many service errors by New Bremen, kept the ball in play and yet served aggressive. Pate pushes over, picked up by Updike, and Tri-Village will go to their outside lefty Downing, it's picked up by New Bremen. Reinhardt again, although give credit as it looked like Tri-Village was there to make good contact, but couldn't keep it alive. That's Reinhardt's fourth kill. They've been going to her a lot. Downing is a left-hander. She's number 10 for Tri-Village. They'll try to get her involved. She averages just under three kills per set. Pape, Claire Pape with the serve. They go to the middle attacker. I believe that was Meade. Olivia Heitkamp missed swings and just not good timing there as 
the freshman commits the hitting error. And if you're the Patriots, you're gonna have to get into some form of uh, system here. They kind of look all out of sorts here. Like they said, they want to get adjusted to New Bremen speed and they've had a tough time doing it early on. Up Dyke, I'm glad she got another serve here. She leads them with 83 service aces on the season. So a very good server at 88%. She's 83 on the year and the left-hander gets one to drop for a much needed point for her team as they will serve back to back and they're gonna have to do that quite a bit here to try to climb back in. Updike though can only get the one ace and gives it back on the service error. Josie Reinhardt, just under four kills per set average and a very good 273 hitting percentage. Downing's attacked in play, couldn't get a good effort on it. Tangerman's attack played up and a good play there by number 11, Maria Petrie. And that I hit never, the tape. never made it across hitting air, New Bremen. Maria Petrie had a nice swing there. Number 11, a junior. Petrie has 284 kills to lead the Patriot attack this year. Serving now for Trivilla Shelby Bentkenball. They go back to High Camp, who this time rewards her teammates with a kill. Had to hit in the last time. They go right back to her, get her confidence back right away, and let the freshman go to work on the right front. Yep, and High Camp averaging around one kill a set. Here's another nice addition for Coach Diana Kramer's team. A 304 hitting percentage, so she doesn't make many mistakes. Serving for New Bremen number 16, Amelia Dammeyer. Tapped over and will be kept alive, but it'll give Tri Village, they can't take advantage of it, so to speak, but uh, give them credit. The kill will go to Kaylee Updike, um, a rare attack for her, much known for her libero position, but uh, gets her attack to score for the Patriots. Yep, a very rare attack there for a libero, but works out if you're a Patriot fan. Suchland with the serve for Tri Village, recommend his attack played up by the Patriots. We go back to Hunt, who her attack has played. It'll be a back row attack from Reinhardt. And it will drop. Good swing from beyond the 10 foot line for Josie Reinhardt, number five with five kills now. Nice play defensively. I think it was by Suchlin in the back row, but uh, could not get, it was hit so hard with so much velocity, not much she could do to get in front of it. And she attacks that ball just as well from the back row as she does the front. Chloe Bornhorst for New Bremen. Free ball over, so chance here again for New Bremen to go to work offensively. They go to Tangerman. Her attack is touched at the net, but falls down on Tri Village's side. Kill for Ellie Tangerman. Up in the junior's first kill of the night. 2.1 is her average per set. And Bornhorst serve sails long two. Service errors for the Cardinals here in game number one. 13 6 year lead. I believe it was a, correct me if I'm wrong, 6 0 oh, 7 0 oh. start. Yep. I meant to write that down. So after a rough start, Tri Village has played about even. Tri still trailing by seven. Have to get some breaks on the Cardinals and try to get to work on offense and earn some points. Hunt with the attack, played up by New Bremen. Tangerman again. And that Morgan Hunt attack off of New Bremen's de uh, defenders. And the first true, if you will, attack for a kill here for the Tri-Village Patriots. Yeah, their, their first kill of the match. And you see- Other their, than the one from yeah, the libero. Other than the one from the libero. But um, you see that, and as they hit into the net, they're getting a little more comfortable going on with the game. You mentioned this is their first time being in the regional tournament. So maybe get some nerves out of the way and just get comfortable. Tangerman serving for New Bremen. Nice serve, it's gonna result in a kind of a roll shot. New Bremen pushes it back. Good touch at the net by number nine, Maddie Mead. Tangerman will hit it inbounds. Got a touch at the net, didn't matter. Tangerman connects for her first kill. Serving again now will be Ellie Tangerman. 85% server on the season with 14 service aces. Middle attack by Morris. 
And Rechterman's attack out of bounds, wide right. Rechterman struggling a little bit tonight to get the to get her attacks down. A little bit of a slow night, a little slow start for the senior. Lucy Morris, the player of the year at the Cross County Conference. 95.6 serving percentage on the season. Her floaters picked up and Pape tried to go on two, just missed down the end line, but a good idea is Heidkamp's bump to her if you will allow her to kind of make that decision and twist in the air. Yeah, she does a great job with her hang time and keeping that body twisted in the air. As she said, like you said, she's gonna play a middle hitter next year at Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne. So setting is, isn't even her MO, so to speak. Lucy Morris puts it in play for the Patriots. And Reinhardt, enough muscle behind it to get it again through the would-be blockers and earn her sixth kill already here in the set number one. Yeah, and she's just, like I said, she's efficient, she's masterful, and she's first team all Mac for a reason. High camp in her second trip serving, puts it into play. A little miscommunication, but Tri Village able to get it over. Reinhardt. Soft roll shot will hit the antenna out of bounds. So Morgan Hunt didn't have a good angle on it. The set kind of pushed her out of bounds, Brandon, and forced the hitting error. Yep. And like I said, that's, that's what Tri Village talked about, getting a good first touch. And got to work on that a little bit. Nice for Hike Camp. A little bit more mustard on the back of that serve and her second one of the set. 18-9 is the score. Uh, Tri Village will take their second time out. We'll take one with them and come back with more volleyball here on NK Telco Sports. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Coach Brewer, his team got in a hole against Coach Kramer's squad early. But since that time, Brandon, Tri Village has played very respectable and played about even. They've lost a couple points here recently, but uh, remember they were down six or seven to begin, and it's been that way until now where it's a nine point lead. And that ball probably would have been out of bounds, but they will save it. And it'll be an attack error as it goes outside of the pin. But I thought, you know, Tri Village had gotten some rhythm. You mentioned the jitters maybe wore off a little bit. But now they trail by 10 with just six points remaining for the Bremen win here in, in game number one. And if you're Tri Village, you just got to stick with it and play tough here. Morris will set Downing, the left hander. Comes through with her first kill. Not for sure if I mentioned, we know Morris is a player of the year. Also first team for CCC went to Megan Downing and Maria Petrie, first team honors in the cross county conference. Friend on a quick set from Pate. Those are always momentum plays when they work and they were in rhythm. Taking a look at it here on the replay by winners meets. And that's just, you can't draw it up any better there. Kaylee Friend has that great hang time like I've mentioned many times before when I've watched them and just a masterful job done by Pape and Friend. 45 aces on the season for Claire Pape. As her team up by 10 and give her her 46th service ace. The Bremen averages almost just over four aces per set. So they do rely on that aggressive serving as part of their mantra or their ammunition in their success. And they had 331 aces coming into the game as a team this year as well, compared to Tri Village's 278. Hitting attack here by Suchland outside the pin again. They mentioned the four aces per set. Tri Village gets about 3.3, so both teams utilize that aggressive serving to earn some points. New Bremen three points away from earning game number one with Clear Pape serving again. That's how a floater. Middle attack swung hard and down. Or those, it was, say it was long, I think. I think the back line judge waved her flag. That attack was by Maddie Mead and the fifth attack error against the Patriots. Uh, 13 point New Bremen lead. Updike will get it to Morris. And Downing never quite got up high enough. The sixth attack error. You gotta think if you're an attacker from Tri Village, you know New Bremen's gonna bring double blocks and they're very capable blockers. So that's gotta be going on 
as you prepare to figure out how am I going to attack it? Where am I going to put it? Where are the hands at? A lot to think about. It's a mental game for sure. Morris back sets to Downing, pushed back by Reinhardt and Friend, but one of them was in the net, so give Downing the kill. That's her second kill of the set. Set point serving, and this will be the libero Updike, Kaylee Updike, who was a second teamer, all CCC. And that one, good talk by Nebreman as that sails just long, and that is your first game score. 25-11 in favor of Nebreman. We'll take a short break, come back with game number two here on NK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Welcome back as we get ready to start game number two. Nebreman dominates game number one, 25-11. Brandon, your numbers for game one for the Cardinals and the Patriots. And we had we had 11 kills there. Uh, 12. 12 kills, my bad. Run, looking at my ink there, kind of was running out. 12 kills there for the Cardinals and set one right around their usual average. Um, 12, yeah, 12 kills sitting around their average. They had a solo block on the part of Kaylee Friend and three aces, two from Diana Heitkamp. One from Claire Pape. Look on the flip side for the Patriots. Four kills, two for coming from Megan Downing. One ace there from Kaylee Updike, and no blocks. Morris hits it over on the second attack. Reinhardt, who had six kills, as you mentioned early, picked up nicely that time by Matt Molly Suchland. And no Bremen, though, another opportunity. They go on a slide, and they will replay it. I think the up official was going to maybe call net. And then I don't know, between the two of them, an inadvertent whistle will replay it. So serving again, now will be Ellie Tangeman. Junior, I will mention all league, puts it into play and comes up with her first ace of the match. And Ellie Tangeman's just been a player that, um, as the year has gone on, has impressed me more and more. He's gotten more involved in this attack and just got more comfortable in this system. And it's a long season and, and players do get better as the season goes on. And, Everyone has room to make improvements, and Downing's attack pushed back by a Cardinal, unless it never, okay, never went over I the net. Yep, it hit the top of the tape, and she hit it back. It was just a late whistle there on the part of the official. Either that or we didn't hear it. I'm not for sure which, but uh, saw the hand signal. Tangeman serve into the net. So Tri-Village, a better start for them. Remember game one, they got off to such a bad start and then played even for a while, but then towards, it seemed like the last third of that match, New Bremen really dominated and kind of pulled away with a 14-point win. Reinhardt 
Roll shot picked up by the Patriots. Sutherland's attack picked up. Pape will go back to Reinhardt. And a hard driven attack by Reinhardt as Morgan Hunt was there to defend it but couldn't control it. Kill for Josie Reinhardt. And that gives her her seventh kill of the match along to go with six in set one. Diana Heitkamp had a couple aces in game number one. Serves aggressively there and a good attempt there, or a good attack picked up by the Cardinals. Friends tip is played and I think Reinhardt on them over the center line and I think New is going to turn around and find out that they were uh, Yep. They maybe touched it before it crossed. I'm always, I think you can't touch it until it breaks the plane and maybe Reinhardt got a little soon. Nonetheless, a point goes on the board for the Patriots. And again, the left-handed serving Kaylee Updike puts it into play. Reinhardt off of a touch. The right side this time where she scores from. Eight kills now for Reinhardt in the match. We might have another look here coming up. And we'll take a look at that play where they called Reinhardt. So watch the tip. And probably right on the equator, if you will. So I'm not real sure. A good view of it. It was ruled in favor of Tri-Village. Nice heads up play by number 11, Maria Petrie. Knowing where the hole was at, Brandon, put it right into the Bremen yeah. middle of their defense. Yeah, and that's her first kill of the match. And considering she has 284 of them on the season, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a three-kill average, or three kills per set average, and that's her first of the match. Friend, this time more of a traditional attack, uses her hang time, as you referred to, Brandon, and gets a good swing on the volleyball and puts it down in front of the defense. Her third kill of the match, she was so effective against New Bremen in that middle position. Um, I would say that one of the best here is long there with Elena Pullman in the MAC this year. Morris sends it to... Petrie and goes out of bounds. Attack error committed by the Patriots. Their second of the set. Reinhardt will continue to serve. 80, or I'm sorry, 92.8, 93% serving percentage on the season. And right now, not a lot of the things going right for Tri Village. The attack, the free ball just hit into the base of the middle of the net. And those are things you can't afford to do against New Bremen. Floater. Good serve picked up by Updike. And there's a ball handling error by Shelby Minkenball. Another timeout, or this first of this set will be taken by Coach Brewer. We will keep it here. Remind everyone our keys of the game. Sponsor of this evening was brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Our replays that you're watching have been are being brought to you by Winners Meats. The starting lineup brought to you by Sydney All Glaze Audiology. Our player of the game will be picked by Brandon and I later on in this match, and that's being brought to you by NK Telco. And again, our scoreboard sponsor, as you see it there now, sponsored tonight, as always, our first national bank. And we also want to mention that WCSM, who's here at the game tonight in the end zone section, WCSM, AM 1350, also 96.7 FM, and their internet exclusive games on WCSMradio.com. All season, you can listen to those games. WCSM, your sports leader in Mercer and all glazed counties. Back to live action. Morris, her set will work. It was a little tight, I believe it was number five, Brandon. Yep. Molly Scantlin. Sunchlin. Yep. Or was it Scantlin? Yep, Molly Scantlin there on the kill. Serve for the Patriots. Tangeman's attack, touch back, and we get a termination block there. So three and 11. Morris and Petrie combine and get a, a rare termination block. First of the set, first of the match for the Patriots. Tangeman again, this time finds Pater. Number nine, Ellie Tangeman, a good swing. And that's Tangeman's second kill of the match. Long ago with an ace as well. Serving for New Bremen, freshman Amelia Dammeyer. 83% on the season serving. Morris will feed Petrie. It's touched and it will drop. 
And Petrie, that's her second kill. Gonna have to get her more involved if you're Coach Chris Brewer's squad. She's your lead kill getter. You're gonna have to rely on her like the Cardinals have relied on Josie Reinhardt here early on. Petrie's serve is played by the Cardinals. High Camp Olivia, that is, out of the middle. Matt just inbounds in the far corner. Morgan Hunt, sophomore. Nice spot on that attack, finding a hole in the Debreman defense. And remember, they were down 6 nothing right away there, and we said they came back and played even here a while. They're playing even here with the Cardinals now, only down two. And on the back line, just inbound, Josie Reinhardt, another kill for her. And that's her ninth kill of the match. Uh, tough, you think that ball's gonna go out, but then it just nosedives there. Miscommunication on the Patriot back line. No one got it, no one talked. So easy does it there for Josie Reinhardt. Made a mistake here. My sheet number five is Molly Scantland. I'd called her a such one by mistake. My fault, the service error committed by Reinhardt. Second of the set for Nebreman. They also had two service, aces, or two service errors in game number one. Lucy Morris. Number three, player of the year in the CCC, puts it into play. Self-defense there by Morris as she recovers a, a uh, rectament attack, and then tri will commit the hitting error, their fourth of the set. And again, they're only down three, every point so critical, especially if you're basically the underdog here. The first time Tri-Village has ever made it to the regionals in volleyball in Tri-Village school history. Clara Pate, give her, I think, the solo block. She was there, she tapped, if you will, Megan Downing's a, a yeah. attack and gets a, a stuffed block and a four point to Bremen lead. Tangeman serve, picked up by the Patriots. Downing again. That's how I can't be able to get a hand on it, keep it alive. Free ball over by Bornhorst. Scantlin will try to catch the Bremen off balance. Doesn't work. Reinhardt. Good touch by the Patriots, but it goes out of bounds. Give the kill to Josie Reinhardt. And now a little bit of momentum here for the Cardinals. Up five, their biggest lead of set number two. Chance here for the Bremen, as you mentioned, to grow the lead here midway through this set, game number two. They lead 1-0 in the match. Morris, again, left-handed hitting Downing out of the left front, will try to switch over. And Claire Pate says thank you on the overpass. Her kill will give Nebreman the six-point lead. And easy does it there for Claire Pape on the overpass, takes advantage of it. She hits just as well as anyone on this Nebreman team, even though she's a setter. Bumps set, Downing good contact, but picked up by Diana Heitkamp, Josie Reinhardt. Will go diagonal and number five with her fifth kill of game number two. And a timeout by Coach Brewers. You see Reinhardt connect in the back corner. We'll take a quick timeout and come back with more game two action here on NK Telco Sports. Together, we are family working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Patriots take a timeout, Brandon. We spoke off air. It seemed like just a few minutes ago it was a much closer game, but a good run of offense. Nebreman now has a 7-0 point lead. nebreman has been getting in system there, Jeff. You're right. Rattles off five straight points and kind of rattled the Patriots there. A necessary timeout. Downing, strong hit. High camp keeps it alive with a good first touch, and Reinhardt finishes it. Reinhardt's now e equaled her kill total from set one with 12 now. Give her a dozen in, this, in the match, averaging just under four kills per set. So both games she's been above her average, a very good 273 hitting percentage coming into tonight's match. And she hasn't done much to hurt it so far tonight. Hit by Meade is played by New Bremen. And that's Rectorman's attack. It's the slide is picked up. 
They go short again to uh, Rechtman. Again, picked up by the Patriots, but Downing trying to sneak it in. Just not enough on it, Brandon. Catches the tape, right idea, but just not high enough. Yep, she's try, trying to make a smart play and another mistake there by Downing. She's kind of kicking herself there after that mistake. Tangerman, her serve catches the net. Third service error in game two for Nebreman. Maria Petrie, number 11. I'm sorry, that's 15. Morgan Hunt with a serve. Reinhardt off of Morgan Hunt's hands and it may have carried long. We don't know for sure, but when it comes that quick at you, Brandon, at your eyes, your first instinct is to protect yourself. Hunt's, and Hunt's hands went up and off of them it went for the kill for Reinhardt. Now Diana Heitkamp back into service. The over pass will be rewarded for Friend, if you will. Friend didn't get a lot on him, but got enough on it and at a bad spot for the Patriots to receive it results in her second kill. Her second kill of the set four. Um, kills for her in the match, but that was created by Diana Heitkamp, their defense creating offense. Yeah, these aggressive serves don't always necessarily result in a, there's a good swing by Megan Downing. Just because you don't get aces all the time doesn't mean that the serves didn't keep the other team out of offense. As you mentioned, you know, there was um, times where just, uh, first of all, there's a nice swing by the left hander. We, should they need to get more of that if they can, but the aggressive serving sometimes may result in a free ball over or a down ball, which isn't necessarily a, an ace, but it does give your, it keeps the other team out of the system. Patriots will be whistled for the setting error. Double hit called against Morris. And now the Crimson and Gold doubling up the Patriots now. What seemed close early on there has now kind of got away and the Cardinals have taken control. They lead by 10 with just five points remaining as Pape with a floater. Ace for her. It's amazing as you sit here and watch it, you wonder why those soft, almost arcing balls are so hard to pick up. And I think it's just people, depth perception and knowing you've got to move and run up on it. It, it, it surely doesn't seem like it should be that hard, but it does give teams problems. And then she'll probably come back with a heater now and puts a little bit more smoke on it and back-to-back -back aces. It's like off speed when you're pitching in baseball there. You know, she goes short and then she puts a little more on it there. She kind of gives a change up and then a, you yep, know, a slider, good analogy. so to speak. You keep the hitter off balance in the batter's box. You keep the serve-receive defense, if you will, off balance on your serve. You don't know what's coming. And, just three points away are the Cardinals from taking a 2-0 lead here in this regional semifinal match. They're gonna have a great opportunity here. Although Updike with a heck of a play against a friend attack and good pickup by the Cardinals high camp and they'll go to Reinhardt. Again, kept alive by the Patriots. Downing will tap it over. Reinhardt's roll shot off of a couple hands and it will drop probably the softest attack in the volley, Brandon, results yeah. in the point. And probably the softest of her 14 kills now in two sets. Josie Reinhardt having a heck of a game here early. 23-10, Clear Pape, the senior, will put it into play. Morris has to go down to save it. It's a free ball, so a chance here for New Bremen. That one just missed. Good call by the corner judge. The first attack error for New Bremen as they've been very clean attacking the ball this set, Brandon. Just their first hitting error in this game number two. Yeah, when you don't have errors too, that helps your offense out and makes it easier and keeps Tri Village out of the ball game. Olivia Heitkamp, good swing and getting the kill on their deflection, if you will, will be number 15, Morgan Hunt. Those are the ones you just have to tip your hat to and uh, Hike Camp hit it well. I believe it was Morgan Hunt number 15 playing defense. Her overpass finds a hole down the sideline in the Bremen side and results in the kill. And that's her third kill of the match for Morgan Hunt. Hike Camp again will be called out as it was hit the antenna. So serving now for Tri Village number 15, Morgan Hunt. She's been back there for a few serves. She'll try to keep it going. And that one goes into the net. Their first service error 
of game number two. The Patriots come in at 91% serving accuracy. On the other side, New Bremen just under 88% serving accuracy. Just long, good swing by Petrie, but it sails long. And there is game number two, your final. New Bremen 25, Tri-Village 13. We'll take a break and come back with game three here from the Thunderdome on NK Telco Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage experts since 1946. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back. We're ready for game three. Nebreman has had to, I won't say had it easy, but they've been in control dominantly both games, games one and two. Yeah, it was a 10-8 lead there for the Cardinals there at one point, and it ends up 25-13, to 13, so a 15-5 to 5, uh, run to end set number two there. Look at some of the numbers from that set. 12 kills for the Cardinals, three aces and a block, and for the Patriots, six kills, no aces and, a, and one block. So you see the number disparities there, and that's why the Cardinals have still haven't even dropped a set yet in this tournament. I believe they are, um, this would make them 11 and 0 in sets this tournament. So very impressive for them to not even drop a set yet. Correct, they beat Ridgemont, Ada, and New Knoxville in three straight sets. Albeit the New Knoxville match, though much closer than the sweep, if you would call it, as those games, one went to overtime 30 to 28 in the final game, 25-23. So a great match between two great schools. Uh, Nebreman, the number one seed again in this tournament. So they held serve on the home court, defeated, I should say, held off New Knoxville, the number two seed in that district championship match and have earned a right to play now Tri-Village and having their way right now through games one and two. Reinhardt's been good all night. Heard that one touched nicely by the Patriots and they will go to work on offense. Tap back on their side. Morris will bump set Hunt and Ibrima will keep it alive with Reinhardt's attack coming back on the touch and a termination block. We'll give it between nine and 10. Yep, Mead and Downing. and Downing. And both those girls, Mead's the leader on their team with almost one termination block per set. Downing at point six. First lead of the match for the Patriots. Violation as the Bremen in the net on the attack. So 2-0 lead, Rechen their first, go ahead. Yeah, Rechtman's struggling here a bit tonight. She's only got one kill in the match and she's had a lot of opportunities, she just haven't been able to get him down. It's just one of those nights for Ellie Rechtman. Lucy Morris, good serve. New Bremen will not be able to make the play on the ball. So give Lucy Morris a service ace and well, it's, it's an elimination game for the Patriots, and they've come out with exactly what they need, and that's a great start. Still a long way to go, but a good start, 3-0 for the Patriots. First ace of the match, two for the Patriots, coming here in set three. Brian Hart, inbound. She was all 30 feet of the, the Patriots' side of the court, and it hits the back line. Take another play or take, take another look at it here. And Reinhardt, just great form. She's able, like you said, to use all 30 feet of that floor. Very impressive there. 
Heitkamp with an aggressive serve and it kind of eats up the defender. Service ace for Diana Heitkamp and there's a time we talk about aggressive serving results in a point. Other times aggressive serving may not be a direct ace but if the Patriots in this case can't get it a good touch, their offense isn't in good rhythm and it may be a very soft attack over for Nebreman to go to work with. And sometimes, like you said, that aggressive serving can result in, in some errors, but you think the amount of aces you get from it kind of overcompensates. The for aces, it yeah, are easy to score. It's, it's how many like weak attacks that the defense comes, or that in this case, Tri Village comes back with you. You know, if someone stats that or keeps track of it, I agree. You might be saying, yeah, I know we're serving this with this many errors, but boy, we're getting a lot of easy offense, if you will, off their out of system offense. So. It's a good quality that Nebreman possesses, and Claire Pape will put it into play. Her team down by one. Downing with a nice play as Heitkamp able to keep it alive, but uh, won't be able to be played by the Cardinals. And Downing with, a, again, a good hit, and that's the reason why she's first team all league CCC conference, or cross county conference, and three kills, just under three kills per set. And also a very good basketball player, too, for this upcoming Tri Village team, which should be a a fun girls team to watch this upcoming winter. Updike, who is a very good server as well, sails it long. Updike came in with the 83 service aces in her season. Second error serving here in game number three for the Patriots. And there's one of those attacks where New Bremen kind of a, I won't say easy, but a ball they can play. And New Bremen doesn't really take advantage of it, just never got it wasn't an easy ball to begin with. It kind of came at a bad angle, Brandon, but Nebrima never got into system, and that's where we talked earlier. If you put a ball on a tee, hitters are very good. If you can't get it on a tee for them, they really have to make an exceptional play to get the attack. And that's why Diana Kramer always talks about getting a good first touch as well, Jeff. Touch back by the Patriots. Heitkamp sends it over. The Patriots on attack now. Just missing out of bounds. So a rough break there as the Patriots had their foot on the throttle, I felt that possession, but couldn't come away with the, the, the good attack and the air gives De Bremen their fifth point. Dan Meyer. Good decision there, De Bremen knew it was coming. You could hear them screaming. Petrie finds the hole in the De Bremen defense and gives the Patriots a two point lead once again. He said Petrie, the uh, lead kill getter for the Patriots, and only with three of them tonight, so Nebreman's kept her in check. Back row attack from Reinhardt, out of bounds. And we're on a timeout, so the Patriots have forced Coach Kramer to take a timeout for her Cardinals. We'll take one with him, come back with game three action here on NK Telco Sports. At Home and Interiors, our team loves to design beautiful yet cost-effective projects. From sleek and simple to elaborate and detailed, we customize to fit your tastes and budget with free interior design and color coordination. Visit our 5,000 square foot kitchen design center and bring your next project to life. Full custom kitchen and bath cabinets are built right here in New Bremen. Home and Interiors, your vision designed for your budget. Welcome back to Northmont High School, home of the Thunderbolts. We are in the Thunderdome and we're watching Nebreman and Tri-Village go at it in this regional semifinal game. And if anything, Brandon, at least Tri-Village, if they don't win a match, they can say they did force Nebreman to take a timeout. So Coach Kramer not happy with their team's performance, trailing by three. And that's just what you want, as a overpass serve received by Reinhardt that will go down as her second kill of the set. So. Usually you want a timeout to break momentum. It was a good serve. Reinhardt had to go down in the overpass or the overplay, if you will, results in the kill. And that's her 16th kill of the match and probably one of the oddest kills she'll have all year for sure. Bornhorst into the net. Tried to go very aggressively and the junior catches the net. So service error for New Bremen, their second of game three and they can't take advantage of the kill by Reinhardt and they'll give it back to Tri-Village. Another good serve, and will have to run it down. Rechtman hits it hard, back line, and Tri Village will send it over. This is what Nebreman wants right here is a soft attack. They feed Rechtman and her attack just long. They're asking for a tip. They'll get a tip. 
So Rechterman on the slide. I will see once Brandon, if we can see it here. Yep, good call. Looked like the trajectory of that ball got taken off. There, I, I think from looking at that, that was nope. a good call. The referees agree and Rechterman gets the kill. Her second of the match. Tangerman serving for Bremen, her team down by two. Morris will set up Dyke, who goes libero to libero. That one just long. Good call again by the line judge. And this was about the time of the match in the second set where Nebrima kind of started taking over here. So if you're the Patriots, you got to hold ship here. Lucy Morris with the serve and Lucy Morris with the ace. Her 52nd ace on the season. She's a very good server. I'm sorry, her 44th ace on the season. She also had 730 assists this year. We talk about her being the CCC player of the year. Rechterman with the kill, her second most, and basically back to back here, I believe, for Rechterman. Diana Heitkamp, three aces in the match. Make it four. In, in high camp, just adding, like you said, come in, comes in with 85 aces, make it 89 after the four aces, equaling her set one total of two aces. 86% on the season for the senior who will join Reinhardt at Tiffa next year. The attack by Scantlin sails long and the Bremen putting together some consecutive points here pretty quickly, Brandon, and what was a deficit, now just a one point margin for the Patriots. The Bremen commits her third service error of game number three. Chance here for the Patriots. They have not trailed in game number three. Pape didn't get all of that one, but it's played by the Patriots. Downing out of the left or the right front. Reinhardt, good rhythm, a nice pickup by Hunt. I can't picks it up, but it won't be able to control it. Good play by number nine, Maddie Mead, Brandon, with the awareness and the recognition. And Mead's first kill of the match here, too, to go along with uh, block assist there earlier. So a good run here by the Patriots. It's an elimination game for them. They've played much better here in game number three. Morris will bump it up to Scantland. And the Bremen will free ball it over. So if they can get in the system here, it'll be a great opportunity. They will go to Downing. Good job by Heitkamp, keep it alive. Downing again. Scantlin pushes it over. Pape Holly. throws it down. Good play by the Patriots. Again, missed confusion. And I think number 15, <laughs> yep. Hunt with the winner. Was that Morgan Hunt, do you yep. agree? Yep, that was number 15, Morgan Hunt. And kind of just a whirlwind of events there. And catches New Bremen off balance where she hit that ball. And the third kill of the match for Morgan Hunt. Good job by the Patriots here. They've done a lot of things right here in game number three. Good thing. Another good touch at the... The middle block there by uh, Scantlin pushing it back. Oh, I'm sorry, that was number nine, Mead. High camp can't quite save it. Downing with another kill. And the enthusiasm now growing. We'll keep it here as the Bremen will take a timeout. They trail by five. And we'll remind everyone again that our sponsors for this broadcast include Western Ohio Mortgage, Tom and Jerry's, Jewelry Barn, Boimer Construction, Speedway Lanes, Rachel's Cakes, Forever Fit, Brookside Labs, Wagner's IGA, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Hometown Opportunity, Victory Machine, Cargill, Hoagie Lumber, New Knoxville Supply, Homan Interiors, Minster Bank, Cy Sweeterman, Carriage Works, Precision Strip, and Clope building products. So again, that's a nice list, and we want to thank those sponsors that allow us to bring you this, and this is girls volleyball regional semifinal action from Northmont High School. We're in a very entertaining game number three, and Bremen dominates games one and two, but
Tri-Village has held their own here and uh, currently Brandon on a five-point lead in game three. And you got to credit Tri-Village too. They are playing fantastic volleyball, great defense and sticking with these Cardinals this third game. Good pick up there. As you mentioned, the defense very good for Tri-Village. Another good save on defense. Good job by Dino Heikem running it down and Friend finishes it. Some good plays by each team defensively. Friend re re rewarded with the finishing blow here. See it from the end zone seat. Good play by Heitkamp to keep it alive. And, and that kill echoed throughout the gym here, Jeff. Solid contact. That was great contact to say the least. Pate will serve her team trails by four. Make it three. So the timeout by Coach Kramer has netted, if you will, two quick New Bremen Cardinal points. Yeah, and this is the second time out they've had to call this set, so. Yep, none remaining for Coach Kramer's team. They're in their fifth straight regional appearance here, so a veteran or seasoned team as far as tournament depth. Trying to get back to state for the fourth straight year. Reinhardt with the winner. So good timeout response by her team. They've rewarded Coach Kramer in her fifth season at New Bremen with three straight points and now just a two-point deficit. Pape continues to serve. Morris will set Downing. Touch back by New Bremen. Pape will go outside to Reinhardt, who will use her fist to get it over, stays alive. Heikamp will come up and bump set her cousin, Olivia. It's kept alive and back to work going to Bremen on offense. Reinhardt up Dyke with a good first touch. Scantlin's attack picked up by the cards and Reinhardt's attack will score. So number five for Tri-Village, Scantlin hit it well. New Bremen picked it up and New Bremen's number five, Reinhardt able to earn the point and bring her team back to within one. 18 kills now for Reinhardt on the match. De Bremen, again, has not led in game three. Chance here to tie since we were 0-0. That will go long out of bounds. And much needed there for the Patriots. You know, New Bremen, when they're on a run and they get in sync with each other, they're a whole one hard team to stop. So a good break there for Coach Chris Brewer's squad. You wonder how long Coach Brewer would go before he took his first of two timeouts. Didn't have to with the service error. Updike serving for Tri-Village and Friend. Again, pretty good hang time, pretty good swing, but New Bremen commits their fifth attack error of game three to go along with four serving errors. So nine errors in game three for the card so far. They had six each in games one and two. And the libero to libero. Updike gets her ace as a serve kind of tailed there at the end, Brandon. And Dinah Heitkamp for the cards couldn't come up with a clean play. Back to a four point lead here in game three for the Patriots. And Updike's second ace of the match. She had 83 coming into this game, leading Tri Village. Reinhardt touched to the net. Morris will set Downing. Her tip will land inbound. So she's scored. Quite a few of her attacks that way, Brandon, able to tip it over the front row defense and in front of the second row defense of New Bremen. And I think Downing's just been adjusting well. That's the name of the game. How are you going to adjust? And Downing's done that. You saw a ferocious New Bremen comeback, and now it's a four-point run here for the Patriots. Back-to-back 4-0 -back runs. One by New Bremen, and Tri Village has answered it back up with one of their own. Scantlin's attack out of bounds. Tough break for the Patriots, and Bremen will take it. They're out of timeouts. That would have been a five-point deficit. Instead, it's a four-point lead for the Patriots, and Bremen serving. Good swing by Scantlin, played by the Cardinals. Tangeman's attack goes deep. No touch. Attack error for New Bremen, their sixth of the game. And back to a five-point cushion with just five points remaining for the Patriots to try to stay alive here. They're in a 2-0 deficit in the match. Must win this game to force game four. Pape goes outside to Kelly Tangeman. Morris takes it over on two. She's in the front row. She's able to do that. Heitkamp. It's off the tape there. Tape never, I guess, yes. Caught tape, never made it over. Their seventh attack error, a six-point Tri-Village lead and 
They're four points away from giving their Cardinals their first set loss in tournament action. Friend momentarily puts a stop to that thought process. She records her second kill. Her sixth of the match. She's had two now in sets one, two, and three. Freshman Amelia Damar, 83% server, 25 aces on the season in the serve. Big point here for the freshman to keep the ball in play. And she does that almost by accident. She'll get the service ace as Updike, who's a very good libero, could not kind of get out of the way the last minute, minute and actually hit off her shoulder. But Damar will take it. Her ace brings her team back to within four. Nice serve. That ball again, a little bit of movement on it. Is that a four-seam fastball or a two-seam fast, fastball where it dives like that? Or is that a slider? Um, a two-seam fastball moves more than a four-seam. Okay. So. Well, it moved. It looked like it kind of dropped right off the table towards the end. Another nice serve. Good job by the Patriots this time keeping it alive. Didn't hit it real well, but Molly Scantlin able to get a huge kill as the ball caught tape and climbed over. Keeps the Tri-Village lead now at four. They are three points away from a game three victory. Diana Highcamp to Pape. Rechterman's attack long as the hitting errors pile up now for the New Bremen Cardinals. That's eight of them here in game three to go along with four service errors. So they have 12 mistakes in game three. They have six in game one and six in game two. So they've equaled those amounts here all in game number three. Two point away, <clears throat> make it one point away now is Tri-Village. And again, this would give New Bremen their first loss in the tournament play as serving for set point is Molly Scantlin. Junior puts it into play and that is your final. So Molly Scantlin serves that out with an ace in game three, belongs to Tri-Village, 25-18. We'll take a break, we'll come back with game four action here in the regional semifinals on NK Telco Sports. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Victory Machine and Fab is your true one-stop shop, serving Shelby County and surrounding areas. The Victory team is made up of over 45 industry professionals, specializing in the trades offered by our three divisions, custom metal fabrication, precision machining, and millwright rigging. Millwrights and iron workers offer 24-7 emergency response for maintenance support, and our fabrication and machine shops can respond 24 hours a day to keep your plant running. Call us today to see how we can help streamline your project. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Welcome back, and <clears throat> maybe a little surprise, Brandon, but we're heading to game four after, after Nebreman dominated games one and two. Give credit to Tri-Village Patriots. Her team came out, got an early lead, never trailed, never tied, and come up with a huge game three win, 25-18. Yeah, give credit to Coach Chris Brewer's squad. Uh, 13 airs on the part of the Cardinals there, but give credit to the Patriots. They deserve to win that game. They played tough defense. They served up four aces that set. They played a nice game. That's why they were cross County Conference champions. And just a nice game there by the Patriots. Give the service ace to Tangeman as the Patriots tried to keep it alive and never really got a good hit on it. So good start for Nebremen. They Again, their first lead since they won game number two, did not lead at all or tie game in game number three. Downing's attack, tried to take a little bit off. She was good at that in game number 
three, Brandon, from that right front position. This time that left front, a little bit different position, didn't get good contact and commits a hitting error. Up Dyke, not a real good first touch, free ball, so the Cards will have a great opportunity here. Touched at the net, slows it down. Tri Villager will have to free ball it over. Another opportunity for the Crimson and Gold. Tangerman will call a touch at the net, keeps it alive. Reinhardt out of bounds, so a good volley. He's going to again for most of it in control, but they can't find pay dirt and end up hitting it out of bounds. You mentioned in game three, nine attack errors along with four service errors. Uh, they start off game number four here with an attack error after a 2-0 lead. Good dig there by the Patriots. They're a little out of system, but the free ball it over. Again, a the Bremen will take advantage of it this time, Clara Pape. And that's a second kill of the match for Pape, like you said. She, or sorry, four. My bad. Yep, you're right there. Yeah, and good uh, plays. The Bremen yeah. finally can take advantage of that free ball. They've not been able to do so the couple attempts prior. But a hard serve there by High Camp will result in another free ball attempt here for the Bremen. But again, a, a rare mistake there, an unforced, a, a ball handling mistake by the Cardinals. And give the Patriots their second point. Yeah, Pape rarely has any ball handling errors too. We did the game last week where she had two. It's pretty rare. I think she only has 12 on the season if I'm, I think I'm correct, but very, very rare that Pape has an error. Friend hit it hard, hit it well, but it doesn't land in bounds. So now a 3-3 tie. If Tri Village can score here. It'll be the first lead change we've had all match. New Bremen went wire to wire in both games one and two, and Tri Village went wire to wire in game number three. Reinhardt inbounds. And Reinhardt just has her ball dives, nose dives so well at the end there that people think it's going out, and then it just nose dives at the last moment. Top spin. Yeah. Don't roll your eyes at me, that's why it drops. <laughs> if you don't hit a top spin, it floats. Touch there by Petrie's picked up by the Cardinals. Reinhardt will be called for the, yep, well, they got a whistle. Say, yep. The Her attack hit the pin. I thought top spin nose dive, same thing. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were questioning if top oh. spin made the ball nose dive. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. We're bad on the there. same page. I'll let you ride home with us. <laughs> 4-4 the score. Friend pushes it over. Good job here for the Patriots to go to work. Olivia Heitkamp picked up by Moore, so I'll have to have someone step up and do the setting as they will again kind of have a soft attack. Friend's attack was played. It might have gone long, but the Patriots keep the volley alive. And there's a, the antenna. They're going to say it went around the pin. Yep. So kind of a long volley there, Brandon. It was kind of awkward. We'll take another look at it here. As, you know, it's, if you can Man, kind I of think see we're going to have discussion here, and this might get over overturned. The pin, I'm the guys in the truck can help me. I can't quite see the pin. Do you lose sight of the pin or not? I'm losing sight of the pin. I'm having a hard time seeing it. So it should be, it's a legal ball right there. The ball went inside, yeah. so it should be good. I we'll think it should once. get, they're gonna give it to the Cardinals. But a tough break as a bang, bang call. I've often thought it's tough for line judges to see that play once in a while from some of their spots, but it looked like it was inside the pin because we never lost visibility of the pin if what I'm seeing is what I'm being told and break for the cards. They take the 5-4 lead. Good attack by Scantlins, picked up by the Cardinals. Tangerman is attacked. Termination blocked by 13 and uh, by Morris and also number 11, Petrie. So the Patriots don't waste any time to get the lead. I should say the game tied back up at five apiece. Tangerman's attack is touched at the net. Good job by the Patriots to slow it down. Hunt's attack picked up and Pape will set friend and get a touch of the net. They will, but it'll drop. 
on the Patriots side for a kill for Kaylee Friend. Her seventh kill of the match now. Like I said, she's very effective out of that middle position. She's got a great hitting percentage. She's tough to stop. Damire had a couple service aces in game three. The Cardinals lead by one. And a good spot by Maria Petrie. The Bremen's up there defending, trying to block, and that left an open area, and Petrie did a nice job, Brandon, finding it and pushing it legally to that spot. Her fourth kill of the match. Um, she's the lead kill getter at 284 coming in this game. Haven't heard much from her. Rechterman's attack hit hard, but played by the Patriots. Tip by Tri-Village picked up by Highcamp and Pate pushes it over. Another good play defensively. Momentarily is Highcamp able to get a hand on Maddie Mead's attack, but it will drop a kill for Maddie Mead. Pretty good swing there by the junior. You gotta credit the Tri-Village Patriots here. They have not rolled over and died after not being close the first two sets. They've come out here and played nice lately. Reinhardt from the, beyond the 10 foot line. Good defense by the Patriots. And Mead again was good on her last attack, but that one out of bounds, a third attack error of game four, and that will even the score at seven apiece. Chloe Bornhorst serving and getting an ace for the Cardinals. And Bornhorst come in with 42 aces here on the uh, season and been a very effective server. Someone who's been featured more and more in this offense this year, her first year on varsity. 8-7 to score. Again, I don't think we've had a, uh, no, I forgot if Tri-Village went ahead or not, but uh, again, this game four has been very close. Slide offense hit very well by Rectorman, played nicely by Scantlin. And the winner there by the Patriots, I believe it was number 15, Morgan Hunt. And that was just a nice soft attack there, a little change up style hit there. You know Tri-Village's offense isn't as powerful, say, per Bremen, but they're finding gaps this set and getting the Cardinals off balance. And Tri-Village defense has been very good. They picked up a lot of hard driven attacks. Morris though, a tough break there as she serves at 96%. She doesn't miss many, that one out of bounds and will give New Bremen the ball and the one point lead at nine to eight. Now, if you're New Bremen, if you're a New Bremen fan here, you need to take control, get on a run and kind of try to shut the Patriots out because they're playing with confidence. Meade's attack will be played by the Cardinals. Back row attack from Tangerman and it goes long. Fourth attack error of game four for New Bremen. And that's the attack errors so is something they're gonna have to clean up here. Kind of been an issue the past couple games here, Jeff. Yeah, they had nine attack errors in game a three that they lost. Reinhardt, her, put, her attack is blocked back by Meade and Downing. And those are two of the leaders. Meade, if you will, for the Patriots, leads her team with nearly one stuff block per game. And Downing at point six give the Patriots a 10-9 lead, but the attack there by Claire Pate. Again, going on that second touch. Watch it again here. Good job there. Again, being that she's in the front row, she can attack as a, even though she's the setter. High camp floats one short. Downing. It will drop. So that time Megan Downing goes with power. We've seen her a lot of times be finessed with it, Brandon. That time the power prevails. Yeah, and Downing's gotten better as the game's gone on. She's now got seven kills in the match. And Tri-Village, like I said, just been impressed with how they didn't lo uh, roll over after two games, playing very competitive with the defending state champions. Kelly Updike with a very strong serve. New Bremen able to keep it in offense, and here's gonna be a free ball. So New Bremen will prepare. They've got a lot of weapons. They go to Friend, and it will win. It will win from Friend. Friend will win there. Yep. That's her second kill and a big point for the Cardinals. Yep, her eighth kill of the match caught Lucy Morris out of position there, and Pape goes back to the service line. Four service aces for Pape in the match, none here in game number four. 
And the friend will take care of that. I believe it was her, Kaylee, or Olivia with... It was Kaylee Friend, I believe. The overpass. We'll get a great look at it here again. Yep, it was. Either one of them could have had it, but the junior wins the battle and gives the Cardinals a 12-11 lead. I think they're calling the Cardinals out of rotation. Oh, they're reversing the call. I missed it. I didn't see the... Uh, that's going to flip the score here. It does flip it, so I'm not real sure. We'll wipe the kill away from Friend and give Nebrima an unforced error, I guess. Tangeman saves it. Reinhardt rolls it over. Patriots can go to work on offense out of the middle. Heitkamp, nice job getting it up to Pape on the attack. And Heitkamp, Olivia with the kill. That one was touched, but will drop for a Nebrima point, and that ties it back up at a dozen each. And that's Olivia's second kill of the match. Coming on here as a freshman playing this year. It's done a nice job. 12-12 your score. Nebrima leads the match two games to one. And an ace there by Reinhardt. Reinhardt coming in the game with 71 aces on the year. And a very good 70, I'm sorry, not only the 71, now 72 aces, but 93% serving accuracy. So does a good job keeping it in play. Tangerman's attack kept alive. Debrima know a chance to go to work, and they do so with the Kelly Friend kill, her third of the set. And the two-point lead, and Coach Brewer will take a timeout. We'll take one with them. You're watching high school volleyball, regional semifinal action here at NK Telco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Coach Brewer in his fourth season takes his first time out of game number four. Coach Kramer in her fifth season, her team leads by two and it's been a battle here in game number four. Not much of a point spread differential and Tri Village will hope this time out can cut that two point lead to one. And it does not, his friend able to hang in the air and find pay dirt in front of the Patriots defense. Her fourth kill of the set, more importantly for Nebrima, a three-point lead as they try to close out Tri-Village here in four to advance to the regional championship game. And that, that one caught yeah. the pin again. So hitting error, so back-to-back -back points following the Tri-Village timeout. They trail by four. And if you're the Crimson and Gold here, keep the pedal down. You got Tri-Village vulnerable here. And they reversed their call there. There's an ace for Reinhardt. Right on the back line. And again, a, a run of offense. We'll take another look at the serve and you can be the judge and right on the back line it was. And five point lead for Nebreman as they have opened up a little bit of breathing room. Petrie's attack picked up but Nebreman can't do much with it. They go back to Petrie. Her attack is swung hard and good diagonal blow by the junior. Finding a hole in the Bremen's defense and much more importantly, getting the ball back, Brandon, and getting the point on the board. Yeah, and that was a great kill. Like I said, diagonal style kill there for Maria Petrie. A nice hit there by the junior. Tangerman's attack goes off a couple Patriot hands out of bounds. Kill for Tangerman, her first of game four. Dammeyer on cue. Now Emilio, a freshman, will come in to serve as I believe it was Kaylee Friend. She goes out in the back row. And when she goes to the back row, she rotates out. Up Dyke with the first touch. It's going to be a free ball. So again, golden opportunity here for the Bremen's offense. They'll go to high camp. Olivia, her attack played up though by the Patriots. Scantlin's attack played. And again, 
Tangerman will have an opportunity. Good play by the Patriots to keep it alive. It will result in a point, so the long volley ends up in an agreement Cardinal attack here, their fifth of game four. And not much time left, I shouldn't say time, not many points left for the Patriots. They've got to climb back in here in a hurry. They're down by four, just seven points away are the Cardinals from winning the match. They've got to make a run, and that's a good way to start. A nice kill there by Maddie Mead. Good job battling at the net there with Pape. And again, Pape is in the back row, so she can't jump this time. She has to stay below the net, and that's why she did so. Pape will now set Ellie Tangeman, the number 13 for the Cardinals. Yeah, nice big kill point. there by Ellie Rechterman. I'm sorry, um, I did it again. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I told you to tell me when I get it wrong. Ellie Rechterman with the kill. And yeah, good play there by the senior. She uh, was kind of struggling there early, get some balls down, but a good kill there by Ellie. Morris will push it over. I can't put the save. Reinhardt with a. I don't know what kind of attack that was, but she got it over eventually, and the, the change of arm speed and such results in the 20th point. We'll keep it here as Nebreman just five points away from the match of victory. we we'll give credit so far to Tri Village. You mentioned a couple times, Brandon, after games one and two, that Nebreman won 25-11, 25-13. A little surprise, or a lot surprised, that Tri Village able to bounce back in game three and earn a seven point win, 25-18. Yeah, and that's why they were 21 and four, 12 and 0 in the conference. And, uh, and they were able to hang in and take game four, or game three. So pretty impressive there. And they've got to get a run here right now. 20 to 15, there's no time to give Jabrim a point here, a point there. They've got to go on a four or five point run right now, Jeff. See, once again, get a start here with a good first touch and a good serve by Bornhorse will make it difficult. And they do get the point as number 15, Morgan Hunt. And that's Hunt's second kill is set four. Hunt is a sophomore, does a nice job there in a big situation, hitting through the blockers and keeping it on to Bremen's side. And tough break there, Morris, her second service error of the set. Doesn't do that very often. Again, 96% accuracy on the season. To have two in one set is very uncommon. Five point lead, four to go though. Four points remaining for Nebreman to move on to the championship game. The set drew Downing near the pin and it touches the pin, the fifth attack error. And Nebreman now just three points away and the, the pressure, if you will, mounting for the Patriots to try to stay alive here in this match. It'll be a bump set. Is Meade able to get it over? Nebreman now a little out of system, will survive, if you will, and Downing will go at it. Touch back for a termination block, five and 13. That's Reinhardt and Rechterman. Big points as the seniors combine for a rare termination block, just the first block of game four. They only had blocks in games one and two. And on average, they get about two per set. Service error by Tangerman will give the ball on a point. Back to the Patriots who need to get, you mentioned runs, they need one now. Down by six, just two points remaining for the Cardinals. Reinhardt, her attack right in front of the back row. And Reinhardt, her third point, the third kill gives DeBreeman match point with Diana Heitkamp serving. Seven point lead. Heitkamp has four aces on the night so far. As Brandon said, came in with 85 on the season. So 89 so far. Back row attack will give Nebreman, a, again, a great chance here, and they will not quite finish it. Good play by the Patriots defensively. Friend again picked up by Hunt, and they will go to work with Scantland, and that ball again, staying alive. Free ball over, nearly it will drop as Kaylee Updike, a rare libero kill, her second of the match, will keep her team alive. And she will now serve 83 aces on the year for Updike. Has two on the night. So 
Self-defense won't work this time. Kaylee Friend with her fifth kill of the mat or the set. More importantly, the 25th point for the Cardinals, and that will be our game. But a valiant effort by the Tri Village in their first ever regional appearance in school history. They gave Nebreman a fight, but uh, fallen four. As you see the scores there, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll wrap things up here from the Thunderdome on NK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to Northmont High School, home of the Thunderbolts, and more importantly, we're in the Thunderdome Gymnasium where the Nebraska Cardinals in four defeat the Tri-Village Patriots, and where game stats here is Brandon. Thanks, Jeff, and looking at our cap report here, um, tells you pretty much the tale of the game. 45 kills for the Cardinals compared to 25 on the Patriots' side. That aggressive serving that we always talk about is always prominent with the Cardinals, certainly evident, 14 eight, uh, aces compared to five for the Patriots both even with their blocking at four. So um, credit the Cardinals there again for the fifth year in, in a row. They're able to advance to the regional final looking to make their fourth straight state appearance. Um, they'll play either Shelby County League team Rushi or Fort Warmie who are playing our game here next. Thank you, Brandon, for the, the victorious Cardinals. We mentioned uh, they dominated the attacking category and the serving to earn this uh, match. We give Tri Village again credit. They fought back after losing games one and two, won game number three, battled through game four throughout most of it. And Bremen, though, in the end, pulls away and gets the 3 1 set match. M Megan Downing led the Patriots with seven kills, and Morgan Hunt had six for their squad. For New Bremen, Diana Heitkamp, three aces. Josie Reinhardt, 21 kills, two aces, and a block. Kaylee Friend, 11 kills, and a block. Ellie Tangerman, three kills and two aces.
Chloe Bornhors had a service ace. Claire Pape, four kills, four aces, and a solo block. Ellie Rechterman, four kills and a block. And Olivia Heitkamp earned two kills, and Amelia Damar, two service aces, your total for the Cardinals. And before we wrap things up, we do want to announce our player of the game tonight belongs to. And that's Josie Reinhardt, no doubt. 21 kills, two aces, and a block assist. Um, just another great night by the first team all Mac future Tiffin Dragon. Uh, just does such a good job in that hitting from anywhere on the court that she's set to. Um, just a great team leader. Um, her third year on varsity, so congratulations, Josie. You know your team's playing for a spot in your fourth straight state appearance. Congratulations indeed to Reinhardt and the Cardinals. They will advance, as Brandon said, to play the winner of the next game between Rushi and Fort Lormie. Before we sign off here, we'd like to thank our crew this evening, which included our camera operator, Mark Fissel, for our directors tonight. Assistant Director Bryce Hamrick, Director Scott Robinson, for my partner tonight, Brandon Coverman. I am Jeff Henschen. We hope that you enjoyed this telecast. And once again, thanks for watching here on NK Telco Sports.